up. Get out. Get out of here. My first guest tonight is a terrific stand-up comedian. Uh, I've always wanted him to be a guest here. He's always said no, but he's a little bit drunk, so I think we're going to be okay tonight. <laughs> Uh, the longtime host of the Tonight Show on NBC, Jay Leno, everybody. Jay Leno. Thank you very much. Whoa. Throw those away. Don't need them. Throw Don't need the them. notes away. You look, you look good. Well, hang on, you get some f fluff there. A bit uh, of fluff. Does it feel weird to be sitting there and I'm, I'm sitting here? This no, not really, because you know, because you're a comic and it's easy when it's comic. You know, you do interviews. You see the monologue tonight? Because I don't. I think I got okay, my union okay. card taken away. Well, we all have our nights. Yeah. 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 Did you ever have to get a union card to be a comedian? Yeah. No. Do you have to? When I started, I was told I had to. By whom? Another comedian? No, I was in Boston. I was 19 years old, and I was working strip clubs telling jokes. Oh yeah, sure, and telling jokes. So. <laughs> That's what it was. So but wait, 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 wait. If, look, if you're in a strip club, how do you tell jokes in a strip club? Because I, have been to I a would have. To, it's not like now, where the in, in, back in like. Oh, in, now you know strip clubs now. I do know strip clubs now. <laughs> back then it was like. It took like 25 minutes. Damn and then it was all there were girls who come out. Parkers, hats. I mean, it would take an hour. Now they run out naked and they jump on the pole. I mean, it's people's attention. There's no, ma there's there. no magic in no, it no anymore. Magic. I know. And I would go on in between. So I had worked this one strip club. So I went across the street to another strip club, and the guy said, "Are you in the union?" I, I said, "No." He said, "You can't. You can't be in the. You can't work unless you're a union." I, I oh. oh, was he? Well, go to this, the. It was the Brill Building in Boston. So I go over to see this guy, agent, and I walk in the door. Asian or agent? Agent. Agent. Oh, agent. Asian yeah. agent. Yeah, yeah. And he says, uh, what do you do? I said, I'm a comic. He says, how long have you been a comic? I said, I don't know, maybe four or five months. Oh, you got to be in union within 60 days. You're in violation. I, I said, oh, um, oh, okay. Well, you can join. I said, how much is it to join? He said, $500. I said, $500? I said, I don't know, $500. He says, and he said the classic line, how much you got? Uh. <laughs> and I was a kid, and I reached in my pocket, and I had like, $160, and he goes, oh, and he just takes it. Oh, man, you put my finger there, Jay, yeah, you yeah, know what happened. Yeah, right. And he gives me his business card, and he writes Union Man on it, and hands it back to me. He goes, show this to any club owner. And I went, yeah, okay. Now I feel like Coco in fame, remember? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I go back to the club, and I, I'm in the Union now. The guy goes, you are? <laughs> I said, he gave me this? <laughs> He's a card. We don't need anybody. Can I just got screwed. Nah, I see. Screwed. That's all. Well, look at you now, though. You're, yeah. you're, you're on I'm the getting screwed show. again. No, you're not getting screwed. <laughs> you know, well, a little bit. Yeah, you're yeah, on yeah. this show. You're getting screwed a little bit. <laughs> it's all right, though. Do you? I mean, you still do a lot of stand-up days. You go. I, I mean, you're obviously you're still in the union. Then do yeah, you still yeah, go I, out and? Do yeah, you drive your car? Do you drive, drive your car to those yeah. gigs? No, I usually fly to the gig because it's, if, if, if I have a show on Friday, you can't really drive to Philadelphia for the gig on Saturday. So I will usually fly. Well, I see some of the, don't you have rocket cars and stuff? I do have rocket cars. <laughs> you do have a rocket car, I right? I a rocket bike. You would love. You would love my jet bike. You, a jet bike? That right? Oh, yeah. You yeah. got a jet you bike? Have a, your motor. Yeah, I have a bike with a C18 Allison. I, I, have one, I have one motorcycle that I'm now too afraid to ride. Uh, why, why are you afraid to ride? Why? I had an accident. I had an accident. Everybody has accidents. Accident. Yeah, but this was a bad one. I could have been hurt. Yeah. <laughs> See, the great thing about the great thing about driving a motorcycle is people you don't owe, don't even know always feel obligated to tell you some horrible story. Oh yeah. You know, I'm in the market one day. I got my helmet. Guys, you ride a bike? I said, yeah. My cousin had one of them things. Drove head on into a threshing machine. <laughs> That his face you, know, you mustn't do that. I said, okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. So that, that's what happened. You ride a bike. Would you see a fresh machine? Like, what, what did I do here yeah, again? Yeah, oh, no. Uh, do you have a Starbucks name when you go to Starbucks? I don't, I don't drink hot liquids. What? No, I don't like hot coffee. I don't like soup. If it doesn't have ice in it, I don't drink it. Really? Yes. What kind of madness is this? <laughs> Oh, you were a regular guy. No, you don't clearly like a weirdo. And I don't like coffee. It's annoying. You don't like coffee? No, it's horrible. Wait, where did you learn that? Al-Qaeda? No, Everybody exactly. loves coffee. Exactly. 
I don't like hot liquid. No, I can't stand coffee. I don't. I don't get it. Well, you, you're saying that with some anger, you know there, Jay. I, I mean, it was, uh, do you have a spoon? Uh, do, you have a, do you have a, a pen? Give me a pen. I got I'll show a you one. I got a feather. No, no, uh, that's, yeah. not, that's not good. I got, I got no, some I need sugar some, No, I need uh, something metal. Uh, uh, give me the harmonica. Cards, uh, harmonica. Glittery ball. No, I don't, ah, don't I'll tell you what. Give me the, bring that over here. Bring that over here. What, what? I'll show you what. What, what, what. This is why I don't like coffee. Don't hurt this. No, no. I don't like coffee because when I was in trouble, my mother always sit. Wait, wait, you were in trouble? When I was in trouble as a kid, my mother drank coffee and she'd sit with the spoon and do this. And I would hear the clanking. Come in here. And that's when I. Do, do the so, scary music. Do it again. Let's, just, let's do the scenario, Jay. Let's do your mother was Scottish, right? All right, All right, right. Let's do the scenario. Do yeah. it again, the music. Okay. Jay, you're in trouble. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, I tell you! You are not a member of the union! <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's why. And that's why I don't drink coffee. Oh, that's terrifying, man. That's terrifying. Your mother was Scottish, sir. My mother that was Scottish. That explains why you're My a comedian. Was, you know yeah, that, right? Yeah, it, we all have the same mom. It is. It, you know, <laughs> and we all have a Scottish mother. Everybody's. Everybody and they, my mother never got a joke I told. Yeah. You know and they I, don't. They don't get it. No. You know I. I played Carnegie Hall. I invited my parents to come to the show. My mother is stunned that I'm, she doesn't understand why I'm there, but I'm at Carnegie Hall. And at that time, I had, been, I had done like 40 or 50 Letterman shows in a row. So there are all these kids in the, like college kids, to kind of memorize your routine. So I'm on stage and I see my mother six rows back like this. And these half a dozen college kids, I, I would start a routine. And you know, and they, you know, they would start to repeat it and laugh along. And these kids are laughing. My mother goes, shh. shh. I go, I go, Ma, you don't. Exactly. You don't. You don't search in a comedy show. <laughs> you don't wait, search wait, wait. people in a comedy. You can't. Show. You can't do that anymore, though. When you do material now, if anyone's seen it, they don't want to see it again. They don't yeah, want to. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, different not, world. You used to be able to do stuff. It used to be like you were a musician. You go and go. Oh, this is a joke that made but me yeah, famous. But yeah, see, that's but why. No, no. That's why I don't do. I never did comedy albums of those HBO specials because they run them till, till people are sick of you. And then people watch it over and over. And As opposed to watching your TV every night. The no, no, but, but it's different material. It's different material. Right. It's different material. Right. Okay. I mean, it's right. different. See, on the road, you do the same material in a different place every night. Right. On TV, you do a different material in the same place every you night. You still like Follow me? The, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, yeah. I do the same material yeah. in the same, same place. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But thanks for applauding that, you yeah. bastards. Yeah. 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 Do you you still uh, you still enjoy it on the road? Though? I love the road. Really? Because you, you still know, do you, the comedy and magic on uh, Sunday nights. Yeah, I'm there every Sunday. But you know, I enjoy it because when you do it, I love doing the TV show. But when you do a TV show, you know, you get those notes. Um, we're having trouble with immature boys between 11 and 14. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah, could yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. try to do something to boost that demographic. Oh, you're right. Whereas when you're on the road, you can just do what you want to do. Yeah. I I got to tell you. Yes. I kind of much do what I uh -oh. want to do yeah. here. <laughs> Now, yeah, I know we're all alone. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. Kind of. They do have a problem with that. Yeah. Uh, people are annoyed at your cussing. I'm like, oh, okay. if I can do it. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you, you work clean, though. You do a clean act, don't you? You know what it is? I was never dirty enough to be a dirty comic, so I always work clean. I used to be kind of dirty, and then I would lose a couple of gigs, and I thought, well, why don't I just work clean, and that'll be that. I have nothing against guys who work dirty. It's just yeah. more clever. It work clean? It, it, well, it's, it is. If... You know, I, I always remember Bob Newhart told me a funny story. Bob Newhart. Is this clean? Because I'm no, worried. No, it's, it's not clean. <laughs> it's not clean. Bob Newhart told me he, he went to the comedy store to see a guy who was the hottest comic in the '80s. Bob Newhart sits down, and the guy comes on stage, and the guy says, "Hey, buddy, where are you from? Phoenix." And the comic says, Crikey. "Phoenix." <laughs> and everybody laughs, and Bob goes, "I don't get it." You know? <laughs> And then he says, another guy, where are you from? Denver. Crikey. Denver. Everybody left. Bob goes, I don't get it. I don't get it. So that's, that's where I come from. You ever been to Phoenix? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. I have been to Phoenix. <laughs> we have to take a break. We're we'll right back. Break. Back. I'm here with uh, that is the Kenneth. shortest commercial I've ever seen yeah, in my yeah, life. Yeah, we, you know, we do our show in real time, a two-minute break is a two-minute break. You go, we'll be right. Hey, we're back! 
Yeah. <laughs> there used to be a show. Well, we're making shows for the TiVo generation. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> and that's the way it really happens. There used to be a show in Cincinnati called The Bob Braun Show. And they, would, they had no commercials. The commercials would be, um, you'd be doing your act, and I'd say something. He'd go, Jay, you know, that's like Con Wieners. What? You know, Con Wieners, Jay, the wiener of the world awaited. What? What are you talking and, and he would slip into a commercial in the middle of your conversation. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, he just, he'd just slip a wiener on you just, just like that? That's unbelievable. <laughs> I gotta meet this guy. Oh, yeah. oh, well, he's not around anymore. Oh, well, then I really don't want to meet this guy. Yeah. So listen, your mother yes. was Scottish, your father was Italian. That's right. So you're a drunk that enjoys food. No. Right. Yes. <laughs> have you been over to the old countries? Either one of them? I have. I took my mother back to Scotland, which was uh, an interesting. She hadn't been. You know, my mother came to this country when she was 11 by herself. It was one of the very sad story. My grandmother had run off with another man. My grandfather had six kids to raise. My mother's the youngest, and he couldn't afford to take care of one of the kids. So they put her on a boat and they sent her to America. Wow. So she comes here when she's 11 by herself. And, and so I said, Mom, I'm going to take you back to Scotland. Oh, whoa, whoa. I, I, don't you want to go? Oh, whoa, whoa. I can't figure out why she doesn't want to go. Because you know? I know she wants to go. All right. So it turns out my father, who was a prize fighter, very loud Italian guy, he took my mother down to get her citizenship papers. And to become a citizen, if you had more than five questions wrong, you didn't pass. Wow. So my mother got five questions wrong, and the sixth question was, what is the U.S. Constitution? And my mother said, it's a boat. <laughs> and the judge said, well, you fail. My father said, it's a boat. It's in Boston Harbor. It's a boat. No, it it's a boat. So my, father, a boat. so my father argued with the judge. The judge went, oh, fine, fine. You're, you're, fine. You're, get out. You're a sick. Get out. Get out. So, 60 years go by, and my mother is afraid that the judge has put a note somewhere. In, <laughs> Don't let her back yeah. in. So I take her down to get her passport, and she's shaking like oh this. My and finally, God. I go, Ma, what's the matter? Well, I'm afraid that. And she tells me the story, and I go, oh, I think no. you're fine, Ma. Yeah, you're fine. oh dear. <laughs> so, where, where, what a part of Scotland were they from? A Greenock. Oh, my Lord. Last yeah, that's, uh, that's the shipyards. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. Yeah, my mother, was, yeah, it was a tough neighbor. You know, I took my mother back. And I'm walking up and down Captain's Road. That's the street she lived on. Yeah. And that had all been bombed during the war. And it's raining. My yeah. mother's... Yeah, it's Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know the how no here and here. Your mother talks exactly like my mother used to talk. <laughs> and my mother has a very odd sense of humor. I see my father's getting fed up. So I grabbed my mother by the collar and said, The money. Where's the money, you crazy old woman? You're buried. <laughs> well, my mother falls down on the street and rolls down the hill. She's laughing so far. Now she's rolling. And my father and I are chasing her and laughing down the street. But that's... that's that's nice. Have you been back to Italy? You like Italy? I have been back to Italy, but I, no, I haven't been back in a long time. Ah, oh, I love Italy. Yeah, Whenever I, I go to Italy, I think, why don't I live here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking. I speak the language, you know. I talk like this. You talk that's, like uh, this. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. So, what are you doing uh, this week then? Doing more shows? I'm in uh, Philadelphia this weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, there you go. Are they going to, the show's going to be are, all right. Are you, are you on the road this weekend? Nah, nah. I, I got kids, man. I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't That's why you go on the road. Kids. <laughs> exactly. That's why I go on, on the road, road as well. Road. Yeah. Then when you go on the road, you find <laughs> they have more kids. That's uh, the bad part. <laughs> <laughs> That's not making the right noise. You need them. I know the noise. You, need, know, you know, we should have gotten a spoon during commercial. No, no, I got a knife. I got a oh, knife. Oh, a knife? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that'll look. That's it! Uh, That's <laughs> yes! Ah! <laughs> See you later, everybody. Oh, you got to do it. My first guest tonight is a terrific stand-up comedian, longtime host of the Tonight Show. Take a look at this. Now listen to me, Jay. 
Have you have you been on a late night talk show before, son? Do you know the rules? I have, I have, but I know the rules, and you so well you haven't followed one of them. Oh, ahead. come on! <laughs> I do my thing. You I do. do I got thing. my. You know, I don't have a band, but I got my robot. Oh, I got right. my horse. Yeah, okay, okay. No, it's all right. I'm yeah, doing what's... things. How, how are you? Are you good? You tell a few jokes. You're trying to make a living. No, oh, man, you're right. doing all right. That's what are you like a billionaire now? Yeah, yeah, billion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in pesos. Yeah. Have you got? I'm, I got. I was going to ask you. Yes. Have you got uh, an electric car yet? You have to have an electric car. That's I do have an going. electric car. Do you really? I have a 1909 Baker electric car. It goes 80 miles on a charge. They had electric cars in 1909. Uh, yeah, they had. Well, you, cars no, you, you did that thing there. You did me a lot. Oh, he's stupid, and he's from another country. You did it right there. No, no. I said to myself, he's from another country, and he's stupid. And you turned it around. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. I turned it. Yeah. That's what I do. I deconstruct yeah. the genre. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's going on in uh, late night television? Anything going on? The with wars? Tonight? Oh yeah. <laughs> How are things? The are living you... hell. You're out here in the trenches. You don't see anything. <laughs> you're way out the here. Hell the hell of getting paid. Come down where I am, buddy. Yeah, I know. I've, I've been to the Tonight Show. Yeah, you have a great right. show up there. You, have, nice you guys are covered in goose grease and yeah, going at it every yeah, night. Yeah, that's what it is. You mentioned prison before. You were talking. You ever, Three prisons. Have you ever done? Them. You ever done shows in prison? You ever done prison shows? I've done prison time. Yeah. I yeah. Know that. yeah that's <laughs> I've never done a show in a prison. Oh, though. it's unbelievable. You've done a show in a prison. Yes. Well, you did it for what? To, no, I for favors I from your cellmate. I, what? No, I, did nah. a, I did a number. I used to do shows for the state, and it's fascinating because as a comic, you have a, a sense of, like you'll say to an audience, you ever go out with a girl, you see a girl you like, and you want to go up to, her, why'd you just screw her? You know, you realize you're talking to prisoner. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, there's no sense of. I was thinking condor. that when you started exactly. there. I, uh... So you can't. I did, a, I did a prison show once. They bring the audience in. Huge guy comes in with a little guy who looks like David Spade. It probably was David and, Spade it, if it, it was in prison. Spade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's in his underpants with a choke chain. Definitely David Spade. The guy sits, <laughs> the guy sits him down on the floor in the front. And every time I tell a joke, he go, laugh, and he kicked the guy in the head. <laughs> that's a rough crowd. Yeah, that's a very rough crowd. I'm suddenly feeling yeah. very pampered where I am. I used to do, in, in Boston, I used to do old, old people's birthday parties for the state. But why are you doing this stuff for the state? Were you in because trouble? Because it paid $10. It was $10 a show. Well, so that's about the same as NBC? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> and I, I would go out to these things, and they would be... And they would go, Bessie, we have a comedian. Do you like comedians, Bessie? And you would just stand there and do your act. And the that's what I do here every night, exactly. man. That's what I. <laughs> that's why I figured this crowd. Are you going to go back? Are you going to tour all the time when you get done with the Tonight Show? Are you going to go back? I out tour all the time now. Yeah, I, I know. I'm but I mean, are you going to do extra more touring? Like extra double more down? touring? Extra he more touring. Is from yeah. another country. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm same, gonna do gooder and yeah, do more. The same country as your mother, Jane Landon. Right, don't the same forget country, it. That's yes. the same country as my mother. That's correct. That's right. Correct. So what? You going back out in the road or what? You going to make more I'll TV? Be, What's going to go on? I'll be back on the road. I'll do yeah. more road stuff. I, I like the road. I like because when you're a comic, you know if it's working. In TV, you don't know it's working. You get. Piece well, of paper with you, numbers on. No, wait. You do know if it's working. If you if you do it for twenty years mm -hmm. and you're the number one show, then that probably means it's working. I'll mention that to my boss. Yeah. 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 See, you can be 64 and swim 110 miles. Yeah. You can't be 64 and host a late no, night show. No, you cannot, That's sir. Yeah. Do you like swimming? Maybe you could go swimming with a cage. I'm not a big swimmer. <laughs> See, I agree with you. It seems like it would be harder with a cage. Hey, yeah, you're holding you're a going, cage. Clang, ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's much harder with a cage. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to work bluer now? No, you don't have to do it tonight. So you could like really start cussing and go crazy. Yeah, that and, would be great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I never worked blue. It always seemed uh, seemed too easy. It always seemed too easy to me. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about Pryor? Pryor worked blue all the time. He was one you know, of the I used to, my, when I came to town, I went to the comedy store, and I said, can I follow Richard Pryor every night? Because when Pryor was working out, and Pryor would blow the room out. I mean, the funniest person He's crazy, I yeah. have ever seen. And I grew some, because a lot of people didn't like to follow Pryor because the crowd would be exhausted. But you really found out if something was funny. Most comics are inherently lazy. So what happens? <laughs> yeah. So, so you don't. He's telling the truth. That's right. You 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 seek the lowest common denominator. Audience. Absolutely. But when I would follow Pryor, boo boo, and I, I would have to work, and I found out I just got rid of everything that didn't kill, and you you take a half hour, you'd have 
maybe eight minutes of really funny, and you realize how much filler you had. So it was a good well, filler. Filler is what I see. I think you should get filler and just do as much of that as you can. Yeah, yeah, but there's only yeah, there's only. You can't eat hamburger helper without the hamburger. No, That's the trouble. No, yeah. man, you yeah. can if you're high enough. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You know, I never thought of it yes, that way. Yes, yeah. right. that's right. That's right. So, uh, what about the cars then? Are you going to, like, when you drive around doing the tour, you could get a different car in every town? How many cars have you got now? Like 100? Uh, you sound like my wife. There's a few cars. Yeah, there's a couple of cars. Do I really sound like your wife? You do. A little bit? Well, she, she doesn't talk, really she know like... how many cars. You remember this one, honey? It used to be blue. You know, so... Yeah. But see, I have... Does she know your cars? Like, I... do you let Mavis go in and go near your cars? Or is oh, she... like, get out? No, she knows she go near my cars, but it's easier because... I have one girl and a bunch of cars. Most guys have one car and a bunch of girls. And this is way cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> this is way cheaper. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Most guys have one car and a bunch of girls? Yeah, no, bunch of man. In maybe. Hollywood, no? No, well, in Hollywood, most yeah. guys have one car and a bunch of guys. Right. Well, yeah. that's true. That's true. I wasn't playing. Crazy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's it. What else is going on now? Are you happy what with this What else is thing? going on? What kind of talk show question is that? No, no, all right, here's my Hey, what else is going on? I'll go to sleep. What else is going on? That, legally, that is not a question. Hey. Do you agree? Hey, is that hey, not wait, a question? Wait, wait, wait Thank a you. Wait a minute. Thank you. Wait a minute. Before you start playing to the lowest common denominator. Yeah, this, this is Robert's don't Rules you, of Comedy. Don't you come here and start giving me -la -la. tips on interviewing people. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. All right. And see what I did? All right, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> So what else is going on? So what else is going on? What, what do you, you want to talk about? Are you going to do? Show? I want to talk to you about life after the Tonight Show, man. What's going to happen? What are I, you going to do? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. No, I can't accept that. You have to tell me more. Well, you have to have a plan. You have to have a plot. Some revenge. You have to have. You, you have to. Yeah. You have some revenge. You yeah, revenge. Yeah. I want you to get hold of those guys at NBC yeah, and one yeah. by one just start from yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I am on my 14th president, so that's pretty good. Really? Oh, Before, yeah. Did you meet them all? Did they all do the show? I mean, we all, you know, it was like, Jay, this is Bob the New Hey, how you doing? This is Larry the New Hey, how you doing? Larry, president? Larry, I don't remember him. I don't remember Larry. <laughs> Very brief entry <interim laughs> president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, who was your favorite then? Who was your favorite president? Oh, probably Warren Littlefield. I like Warren. Warren Littlefield? Yeah, NBC. I like Warren. He would come up with an interesting idea. One day he said, how about a beach theme? We cover the Tonight Show set with sand and you do the show in bathing suits. I'll take it under advisement. Yeah, but we never really did that. Warren Littlefield. Is but I still, love Warren. Warren Littlefield. I, I tried to do some work with Warren once and uh, we couldn't get it off the ground. He told me once. He met yeah. you and then quit the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah. He said, that's it. I'm out. He had an idea for a show. It was a talk show set on a beach. Yeah, with yeah, the sand. Yeah. It was sad. He was trying to shop in this crap around for years. Right, right. Couldn't, couldn't no, you got to do something. you got to do a show. Do a, do a reality show. You and Mavis in the cars. Yeah, that'll do, be do a lot of fun. A reality show. I don't like... A reality shows aren't shows. There's nobody writing it. There's just a camera following people around. That's not a TV show. We have to take a break. We're taking a break? Well, sort of. <laughs> Jay Leno, uh, we were, during the break we were talking about Monaco, which he loves, and I was going to say, you should come, we're planning a big Monaco Independence you going Day there? show here. I went to, you know, King Rainier invited me to Monaco. King I, Rainier? Yeah, I mean Prince Rainier. Yeah, yeah. So I go over there, and I check in the hotel, and I go, uh... Did you go like this? I want the room with the tickle finger. No, no, that was, uh, that was in Stuttgart, and yeah. I said, uh, where can I change some money? Oh. Here, the king gave you this credit card. I go, what is this? Just use it anywhere in the, anywhere in the, the principality. Uh, really? So I go place and give me a steak and this and that. Oh, okay. And, and, and everything was free. It was, the, it was fantastic. The special king credit card? Yeah, but, it's not, but I'll tell you how, how, how much control this guy has. I, he had a tennis tournament, so he invites me to his tennis tournament. He's playing celebrities. Do you, do you play tennis? No, not really. But anyway. Yeah, you said it like you probably do a little he, bit. He beats all the celebrities and wins the tournament, and they bring the cup down, and it's already engraved to him. <laughs> Fantastic. Nice to be the king. It's isn't it? Yeah. it is fantastic. It was great. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm, my wife and I go out for a walk about midnight. I can't sleep. So walking around. Do you do, that, do you do that in LA? Do you ever go out for walks in LA? You can't sleep. Not even in the daytime. All right. Yeah. Okay. 
and I find a wallet on the ground. What? Yeah, in Monaco. You're the luckiest guy. I can have a world, man. Open up. And it's like Franco Barali or something like this. So I go, I wonder whose wallet this is. Franco Barali. Yeah, so uh, I, I start yelling, Franco! Franco! My wife's going, stop yelling. Franco! And now it's like a joke. We're just throughout the whole walk. Franco! Hey, Franco! And then a guy runs out of me, I'm Franco. I said, <laughs> did you lose the wallet? Yes! Yes, I've been looking for it. I said, thank you here very much. And it worked out. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so that's, out that's freaky. Yeah, very freaky. <laughs> you should do that in LA. Walk around with a wallet and say, is this anyone's wallet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll do it just like yeah, that. Yeah, do it like that as well. Is this anyone's wallet? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> It's good to see you, pal. Good to see you, my oh, friend. Man. You have a, a young comic coming on. Yeah, do, debut. yeah. Uh, you still uh, watch the young comics? I do watch the young comics. I like comics. to watch them and steal their material. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That. I know. <laughs> well, luckily, you obviously didn't steal any tonight. But it's yeah. good that you're going to bring her out. Yeah. guest tonight is a terrific stand-up comedian. He is the longtime host of, uh, what was the name of that show? Yeah, the, the Tonight Show. The Tonight Show, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. It is, of course, American Treasure, Jay Leno, everybody! Yeah. How much freedom have you got? I can't even say Ooh, la, la. in this yeah. show. <laughs> did, that, did you ever cuss on the Tonight Show? Crikey. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. No, no, you can't. No, you, you can't, can't cuss on the Tonight Show. That'd be like cussing in church, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I've done that. Yeah. Well, I've cussed in church too. <laughs> How are you, pal? You look. I, you look like. Have you grown sideburns? You look very poetic. No, no, I'm like poetic. No, yeah. no. Yeah. That's just, it's the same haircut I've had since '93. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. It's a little fuzzy. It looks like you've been uh, maybe. Well, playing. how about you? You got kind of Chris Isaac thing going there. No, no. I'm going. I'm going more. I keep saying it to you, and it cuts yeah. my hair. More Mohawk, less Anchorman. Yeah, more yeah. Mohawk, less yeah, Anchorman. Like, but it is more Mohawk. Yeah, yeah. It's getting Mohawk. You should try it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't play that many Indian casinos, so yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say that? Yeah. Oh, you got the Mohawk. Uh, yeah, I know. I hear you. Do you? I do. I. <laughs> Are you still out doing a lot of stand-up? I do. I, and you know, the casinos, the indie casinos are hilarious because you do the ones in the, in the, around Arizona, they're legit. Yeah. You get upstate New York and the, and the tribal elders come back, you know? <laughs> yeah, with a Gambino tribe. How are you? Nice yeah. to see you. <laughs> Chief Tony, Chief Anthony, you know, it's not... not whenever, I, whenever I play an Indian casino, I always do this. I'm very excited to be here. It's very sad, though. Before the white man came, this was casinos as far as the eye can see. I can't do that joke again. No, no, no. But, uh, but that's it. You still enjoy the stand-up? Because I'm going back to it now. I like stand-up. I like it better than anything. Because you don't get notes. Yes, you know, that's true. You know, when you work in that, you get things like... Uh, we're not doing well with immature boys between 11 and 14. Have you got any kind of stuff involving silly string? No, no, I don't. Those are the kind of notes. Yeah, know. no, I remember. I, I, I get all that kind of, hey, can you stop cussing? I'm like, no. <laughs> it, it's kind of genetic. It's in, I can't. It's I've Scottish. tried. It's genetic. It's, uh, yeah. it's genetic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your mother was Scottish, wasn't she? My mother was Scottish. Yeah. A fine Scottish woman. That's, That's why you're a comedian, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is why I'm a comedian. Yeah, it is. My mother was Scottish, too. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to talk your way out of... Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mother always said, whatever you do, 
never make yourself the center of attention. That's the worst thing that could happen. And that worked out. <laughs> See, that worked out tremendously. Yeah. Well, it, actually, I, I followed that advice pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 12.30 in CBS is not the that's center right. of attention. That's right, yes. It's a wise move. It's very smart. I remember, though, I remember, though, when I was, th when I was thinking about quitting, mm -hmm. you and Larry King were the only two guys that called me up uh, and said, now, don't be stupid, don't quit. Right. And I was like, okay, I won't. And I said that to you, and I said it to Larry King, and then I came on and I quit that very night. Well, that's... <laughs> That's so you take direction well as well. Well, I take notes as well as you yeah, take yeah. notes. I can't, I can't do it. I feel like I'm done anyway. I feel yeah. like it's time. Yeah, I want to go back. Well, I, I, I felt that way near the end, too. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you're 40 and you're talking to the 25-year-old supermodel, it's sexy. When you're 64, you're the creepy old guy. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, so you like Jay-Z? Yeah, okay. I, I don't. Yeah. No, it's when, when girls were here and they're, they're very attractive and, and I'm talking to them and I'm thinking, my wife's going to see this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. your kid's going to see. You know how you're getting old? When I started the Tonight Show, oh, I'm a big fan. And then after 10 years, my mom's a big fan. Yeah, here. yeah. And then near the end, my grandma. My grandma loves, loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and so you just sort of... You're the only bright spot in an otherwise terrible day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, and as you get older, you realize you, you're not losing your memory. It's just you're so old, people don't know what you're talking about anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, tell you, I tell you two stories. I did a, co I did a college in Long Island. And these three girls... Young women, sorry. <laughs> They're 19 years old. They come back to interview me for the school newspaper. Oh yeah. Now the girl interviewing me. <laughs> look, look what I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> the girl interviewing me is named Gabriella, and she has two friends. One is a photographer, and one is holding the light. Okay. So we do the interview. At the end of the interview, she says, "Can I have a picture?" And I said, "Sure." So I stand up, I put my arm around, and I say to the photographer, uh, "Get me with Lois Lane here." And they go, "Mr. Leno, my name's not Lois. It's Gabriella." <laughs> I go, uh, I said, I know you, Gabrielle. She goes, well, you called me Lois. Yeah. So I go, no, I'm not a crazy old guy. I didn't forget your name. I said, you know, Lois Lane? What? Lois Lane? That's super no idea thing. what I'm talking about. Well, that doesn't make you old, does it? Makes well, that stupid. makes you old also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh it does. Yeah. Lois Lane's a Superman. Superman, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. It's like revol It's like Superman. There's always another one coming. Oh, it's like the Tonight Show. One Superman and another Superman <laughs> yeah, yeah. and another Superman. Yeah, and really, what's hotter than Superman right now, right, kids? Yeah. Well, is Superman not hot right now? Sure it is. I rest my case. <laughs> It's time for me to quit. Yeah, it, that's what I mean. Yeah, you yeah. Have these points of reference that mean nothing to. Well, him. but can we go and do retirement things like you know uh, have uh, really extra strong mints and uh, <laughs> and go to drugstores? You know I want to go to a lot of drugstores. When I started out, I used to get ten dollars a show to do old people's birthday parties for the state of Massachusetts, <laughs> and you go to these awful retirement just almost, And I remember there was a woman. It was her birthday. And I was ready to go on, and they said, Bessie, do you like comedians? Bessie! And she was just like this. And I'm, I'm doing my show. It was like a nightmare. It was like a nightmare. <laughs> and I said, that, that's what it's like. I tell you what I did do. I, I, uh, you know how we were always going to go out for a steak, and we never did it? I became a Crockett. vegetarian man. You're too really? late. Really? Yeah. Now, what made you become a vegetarian? I saw this documentary, and, I, and I'm a very suggestible, vulnerable yeah, yeah. person, so I just I went, okay, I'll do that. You know, vegetables are great if you deep fry them and then a bacon batter. Then it's <laughs> yeah. Then I think it's okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah. Well, how about that car I got you? Yes, thank you very much. I haven't <laughs> fixed it up yet. He bought, me, he bought me what he thought was a piece of junk as a joke, but it was actually a 67 Ford Bronco, yeah, which yeah. I'm putting a, a, a Ford uh, Coyote motor in. So it'll be very happy. Yeah, yeah no. Here's, here's the story. That, that car, actually, I got from uh, Danny Bonaducci's ex-wife when she was still married to Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> and that car, the carpets in that car, if you chop it up, yeah. Uh, and, you know, and sold it in lines, it would have a street value of about $35,000. Wow. Because that was when Danny was off the reservation yeah, right, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, so it's a, and also, so you might want to look at that. And also, it, it's a clunker, man. It's, it's like it's been in an accident. Never, you can't ride around in that car. I will fix it. You, I will come and pick you up. Well, you're going to Scotland now, aren't you? Well, not forever. No, well, <laughs> but you have a castle? That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I have a castle in Scotland, and I have all these people with the same yeah. name as me work for me. What are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> That's what I heard. I heard. Do you have a castle? I don't have a castle. Well, what do you have then? You must have a bit of money now. 
Um, I, I put away some. Yeah, did you? <laughs> That's good. No, so it's, it's okay, actually. But see, I like this part. I like traveling around. It's fun being a comedian again instead of a talk show host. You, should, you don't deal with publicists, which is a fabulous. Ah, uh, yeah, that's hard. That's you know? hard. Yeah, I mean, my own publicist is awesome, but everyone else You know, else it used to be, in the old days of Johnny and the Tonight Show, guests would come on drunk or smoke cigarettes or, or just do, or, or just say or do inappropriate things. Right. But now everybody has a publicist, someone who watches every Stops second. him doing it, yeah. I remember one time we had, uh, there was this famous Olympic ice skater, like from 20 years ago. And she hadn't done anything in 10 years. Lois Lane? Was it Lois no, Lane? No, it wasn't Lois Lane. <laughs> and, and she was naked in Playboy. So Playboy calls us, hey, how about putting her on as a guest? All right, America's sweetheart, an ice skater. All right, now she's naked in Playboy. Let's find out what that's about. Okay, fine. So we invited her to the show. And you know me, I go in the dressing room and I'll say yep. hello. So I go in the dressing room and talking to her a little bit, and the publicist goes, I missed a little please. We are not discussing Playboy. We are not going to mention Playboy. And, the, and you talk, if I, if I swear in the Tonight Show, I said, yeah, take your I get up client and go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Because, yeah, yeah. I mean, if the only things you dare to talk about is Playboy, then you yeah, know, it yeah. kind of paints you into a corner. Yeah, Did you ever get tired? Did you ever kind of glass over when they were talking sometimes? <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. It wasn't. I, yes. It wasn't yes. really the people that were on the show, because it was me. Yeah. I'm no, like, oh. no, it was the people on the show. <laughs> the classic example is I had one of these reality stars on, Trista, from some one of these bachelor. It's not. It's one of those biscuit things, no, no, isn't no, it? No, no. <laughs> so I'm sitting on. She's like here, and I'm talking to her like this, and I'm looking at the side of her head because they tend to look at. So we're talking about. Uh, I couldn't be less interested. I'd never seen the stupid reality show. Do you know what it was? <laughs> okay. So I said, "Well, thank you, and, and good talking. Nice to see you. Great. All right, well, good night, everybody. She looked okay, good. I go out in the parking lot. There's this woman standing next to me with her boyfriend. She goes, "Hey, can I have a picture?" I said, "Sure. How you doing?" She goes, "Good." I says, "What's your name?" She goes, "What? What's your name?" Trista. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Jay Leno, but unfortunately, Jay, we're out of time. We're out of time. We are out of time. This That's is the only it. show that has a cut, man. They come out and they fix it. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Jay was, and, and, and you, Lisa came out and fixed you up. Oh, yeah. You look great. I hardly recognized yeah, you. Yeah, I do look great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, we're out of time, though. And when I say we, I mean we are out of time. Not, not just you. Yeah. Uh, we, I gotta, you know, I gotta get out of here. Oh, and you're going to Scotland, like, in ten minutes, right? Yep, right. yep. I'm going to Scotland. I'll be in Scotland, actually, as you're watching this right now. <laughs> And Scotland is the heart attack capital of, uh, of Europe, isn't it? Well, that's one of its many. Old, <laughs> you see 28 year old guys, guys too. <laughs> they just fall down. And, when you go to Scotland, you order a slice of pizza. They put it in a deep fryer. <laughs> no, not always. Not always. No, and there's vegetarians in Scotland. When I'm there... <laughs> You know, they say to me, sometimes when I go back, they go, oh, hello, Craig, what are you not eating now? <laughs> <laughs> so they'll be saying that. But i got to go. Uh, listen, I, I'm so glad you agreed to be uh, my guest on this show. I have admired you, and you've been a good friend to me for a yeah, long well, you've time. You've been a good friend to me. You, you, I, I was always, you always were fair. You know, you didn't join the uh, late-night talk show little snippy club. And no, I sir. That. Yeah, no, I sir. That. So, and we've always been fair. And we both have Scotch mothers. So. Yeah, so, so we, we, we started a little kind of uh, support group. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Now, let me ask you, when, when, the, when it's a lap dance, to, does the guy rub the back, his back, or his front against you? When they no, do so that? I'm sitting here and he's on top of me. Right. Legs akimbo. Facing you? Face to face. Me uh, and Ramon. Uh, Craig, yeah. Sure, yeah. 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 Yeah.
thing doesn't work out. Hollywood men are. Remember me now? You know yeah. Now are they in? Are they in costume? Are they like Indian chiefs?